welcome to Sal's Classic Bodybuilding Archives. In today's episode, we're going back to February 1980, Muscle Builder Power Magazine. Bigger Biceps, Bodybuilding's Most Common Goal by Boyer Co. Enjoy. Everybody's fascinated with big arms, and to most people, big arms mean big biceps. Obviously, biceps are a high priority of bodybuilders everywhere, at all levels of development. Indeed, many of them first become interested in the sport because they want big arms. Go into any gym in the country and I'll wager that you will find more bodybuilders working on arms than any other single body part. In the seminars I give around the country, the most commonly asked questions concern my arms and legs. So I usually start each session with a rundown of what I have done to build my biceps. What many of these guys are looking for, of course, is a secret to getting big biceps. The kind that helped Arnold win his Mr. Olympia title six times. The kind with which Sergio used to amaze his audience. The impossibly high peaked kind that Robbie has, or even the kind I have, which came from working them very hard for size shape and peak almost from the time I first became fascinated with bodybuilding. The first biceps exercise I learned and almost the only one I did until I learned that there were other bicep exercises was the standing barbell curl. I still feel that there is no better exercise for building bicep size as well as definition and shape and I have always made it a part of my exercise program. When done correctly, the barbell curl works basically all parts of the biceps. I'm a real stickler for strict exercise form. In the curl, you will only realize the full benefit of the exercise if you perform the complete movement slowly, elbows in, keeping the body straight. In my biceps work, I've also made good use of the preacher bench. This was made popular by Larry Scott, who found the apparatus very effective in helping him develop his biceps to their fullest. You can use either dumbbells or a barbell in preacher bench work and I have used both variations with good results. But the most common mistake in using the bench is allowing the bench to be too high so that it comes right up under the armpits. What this does of course is cancel out the purpose of the preacher bench which is to focus the stress on the lower part of the muscle. I recommend keeping the preacher bench two to three inches below the chest line. Also, keep your elbows slightly inward and your grip a little wider than shoulder width. Incline curls are beneficial in any biceps program. I try to use pretty heavy dumbbells, but never more than I can handle for eight to 10 reps. I start with the heaviest weight I can handle correctly. Then with each succeeding set, I reduce it about 10 pounds. I also use this kind of successive lowering of the weight in preacher curls and the standing barbell curl. Although I lower it about 20 pounds on the ladder. I usually do four sets per exercise. Curls on the curl machine are another part of my biceps routine and they have yielded good results. The beauty of the machine is that it keeps the resistance constant throughout the movement. This exercise is a favorite of mine. 
You can work pretty heavy on the curl machine. I use about 10 reps for four to five sets. Keep your elbows tucked into your body and maintain control of the weight. As I change my program from time to time to keep it fresh, I like to include line dumbbell curls. These are done on an elevated bench so that you can extend the dumbbells downward without touching the floor. This full extension allows you a good stretch of the biceps and it is the most important part of the movement. I have also included palms up close grip chins in my biceps program in which you yourself are providing the resistance to the raising of the weight. Bring your body up to the bar as high as possible. I realize that some people think of them primarily as a back exercise. Well, they are excellent at developing the lats, but they work primarily and directly on the biceps. So they really should be considered an arm exercise too. In developing an arm routine, I take several exercises, enough to give me a good variety of movement and group them together in the supersets and or trisets manner. I will take the standing barbell curl and group it with the incline dumbbell curl and preacher curl. As I mentioned earlier, I use the declining weight principle in each set Resting no more than 45 seconds between each set, I strive to do each rep as strictly as possible. Then, with my biceps work done, I'm ready to move on to the big triceps muscle, which, in reality, does more than your biceps to determine the overall size of your upper arm. I'll detail this triceps training in an upcoming article. Well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it. And until the next episode, keep training and chasing the dream.